Hey guys, Blake here from Into Mobile, and today we're taking a quick look at the NVIDIA Project Shield. Uh, we saw the the shield over at CES earlier this year, but we got a, but it was under some glass, so we actually couldn't play with it. But we finally got our uh, chance to play with it at the GTC conference um, earlier this uh, week. And so, as you can see, it's a pretty cool device. It's probably unlike anything you've ever seen before. Uh, what we have right here is a 5-inch multi-touch display. It's a 720p resolution, and it is attached to a full gamepad. Um, you, you got all, all of the essentials that you'd want if you're a gamer, so you're really going to like that. But one of the best features of the, the Shield is that you can stream PC games if you have the NVIDIA uh, Kepler GTX um, graphics processor. So that's actually really cool. And we actually have a demo of it. We're playing uh, Need for Speed and you can actually watch how quick it resumes so you just launch it it's almost instant and there's no there's no lag when you're actually playing and this you know your computer could be across the country or across the world and you can play pretty much lag free as long as you're connected to um, a network and it's pretty buttery smooth now um, Need for Speed is probably one of the easier the easier games to demo and that's the only one they had um, had available at the show but it was definitely pretty cool um, as far as the gamepad, you have the joysticks, you have the start and volume buttons, as well as the back and home for Android. And then the dedicated NVIDIA button will launch your games that you actually can stream, or some of the um, other other uh, Tegra Zone games. You also have your your buttons for you know, Y, A, B, X, as well as the D-pad on the left. NVIDIA logo, nice green accenting like you would expect uh, NVIDIA, uh, NVIDIA to have. And on the back, we, you can have the, um, the HDMI, the micro USB, as well as a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And then what other, what controller wouldn't be complete without the shoulder pads for controlling on that? So, I mean, overall, it's a pretty solid controller experience. It feels nice in the hand, and any gamer will be very comfortable right when they pick it up. Um, on the back, that silver part right there will actually be customizable. Um, we saw a couple, a couple of customized covers, but uh, we're not actually sure how you're going to get them. I'm sure Nvidia will give details on that, uh, as you know, when the uh, device actually launches, which we're still patiently awaiting for. Um, but it's an awesome device, and that was just a quick look at the Project Shield. And thanks for watching, guys.